Are you stuck trying to create some brand guidelines after you just finished a design project and you're not sure how to go about creating one? Well, I'm gonna show you this cool tool that allows designers to create an online brand guidelines where you can just share one link to your clients and they can easily just download the files without you having to jump into Figma or Illustrator and spend heaps of time like creating custom design and a custom layout in um, those apps because let's be real, it just takes too much time and it's better just to get a tool that does it for you. So I have a friend that actually created this app. It's called Bravemark. So if you go to bravemark.co, you can actually try it out for free. They allow you to publish multiple brand guidelines. Now I wanna show you how to use it. This is the back end. I'm just gonna go create my first project. Now I did finish a client project recently called Keystone Media and the client name, I'll just say James. And then we can choose the setup. So you can go with wizard, um, a starter or blank. I'm just gonna click on wizard because most likely it's probably using um, AI or just uh, something uh, in the back end that make it easy. So I'm gonna upload the logo here. So I've got the logo files over here. I'm going to drop that in, got the logo mark, click next. Now I've got the brand colors. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the hex code as usual. And you can actually add colors here. So I can add colors. I don't know if I can do, I don't think I can do a gradient. You can actually click and you can drag, um, as you can see, to create the color. Then you can paste the hex code there, but I'm just gonna delete that one. Yeah, cool, go next. And then the typography, I've got fig tree. So it's pulling from Google fonts. As you can see, when you click on it, it says Google. So they're pulling it from there. You can also upload custom fonts. So that's pretty cool. You can, if you have a font from that you've used, you can you do that for the secondary fig tree. And the first one is uh, Legitima, which is pretty sure it's an Adobe font. So for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna select uh, Garamond. Select, cool. And then we're gonna go medium, fig tree, regular, beautiful. Then we click next. And then we want the layout style. So it can be a bento or borderless. I like the bento style, the canvas color. We can click on the color and select maybe one of the colors we have. So maybe the sand color and the module background, I'll just leave that. And I'm gonna press create new project. But the cool thing about this is you can actually drag and drop modules. It's pretty flexible in the way you can change the layout. So this is what it's created. So I can scroll through. We've got the main section with the key a logo. We've got the logo section here and we've got colors, typography and all that, which is cool. And obviously the, I didn't select the module color so you can change the color as well instead of white. You can also view it in mobile, which I think is really cool. So it's responsive, it's cool like that. I can click on the settings on the side and you can also click on the module library on the top right. So if I go to settings, you can change the product description, the cover image, you can change the client name. You can do the header logo. You can actually update a PDF brand guidelines as well. You can change the fonts and you can change the style as well. And you can always save the draft there. So pretty cool. So let's say we want to add some mockups or other parts for the project. I'm going to drag in the image module and drop it in there just like this. And we can just drop any image. So for example, I'm going to go to uh, my folders. I can drag and drop that in there and it should load it in. And on the right hand side, you can adjust all the settings, the sizing, etc. as you can see there. So we can max it out. Uh, you can change the spacing, background color, you can add that. You can use the, these colors here, just like this. Even this background, if I click on it, I'll click on the background color on the bottom right, and I can go ahead and change the colors. I like it. this black here, and also the top bar as well. Just remember, if you change the color of the background, you want to probably change the text color as well. So you can see I uh, clicked on text color and I'm just going to do probably the white color. As you can see, I'm going to change the text as well and make sure I click save draft. Now I can go back to the modules. I can do an intro. I can do uh, color palettes videos if I want to add like a video here. You can press and if you want to delete a module, you can just go to the little bin icon as you can see, and that should delete it just like that. If maybe you made a mistake or something like that, you can just get rid of it. Now you can see in this section, it's got a nice two column grid. You can create this by making a stack. So I'm going to drag the stack module here and you can see we've got two columns. You can actually add a column as well. So you can have three columns, you can have two columns here. And so what we can actually do is just drop some images in there. So let's go and make a three column stack. Once I've got that, I'm gonna drag some images modules into that. So on the right hand side, you want to make sure that you drag that in and just left click on the stack there and I can drag some images into here as well. So you can have a video in one of them. So I'm gonna drag and drop some images. The background color, I'm just going to go with the dark color that I've had. 
like that. And for the text, you just want to delete the text and it should get rid of it. And it'll just show the image. If you want to delete an image, you can click the little bin icon as well. And I'm going to drag the other version that I want. Yeah, cool. That, this one was part of a carousel, so you can see it's got some elements there, but that's fine. You get the point. Now, this logo, I want to change this logo to... And we'll just drag the white version here. Cool, Keystone Media. I've actually noticed I'm missing the color, so we can actually add colors as well, as you can see, and we'll fill that bar, which is really cool. And I'm just going to go ahead and change the colors. You can. It's pretty easy to change the titles. Charcoal, and this one's, we'll just say white. Cool, so I've got the colors there, and I can change the background color as well. You can change a little title up there. Beautiful, it's looking good so far. You got the font there, and if you click on it, you can actually change it. And I like how it displays the letter, the alphabet there in the numbers. And then you've got Powered by Brave Mark at the bottom. Obviously, to get rid of the branding, you just have to have the um, pro plan, and you can just get rid of the branding at the bottom, um, which is fair. You can actually upload your own logo as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Got my own logo. Let's go with the black version. Now I've got Jeremy Mirror at the bottom, which is cool. And see Kiso Media by Jeremy before James. Cool. So once you're done, just on the right hand side, you can see it says publish the big green button. You want to click that. And if you want uh, to put it privately, you don't want it to be public, you can do that. If not, we can just leave it as portfolio. And then the URL for this will be Keystone Media. Now I'm going to click publish. Now it literally gives you a link in two seconds and now I can post that link. So I could send this in an email or to my client on WhatsApp or Telegram, whatever, and they'll get this link. They can view it on their mobile because it's responsive and they can see everything at a glance. And the cool thing is, see these color buttons, they can literally copy the color code. So you don't have to send a PDF anymore. They can save this link to their desktop or, you know, bookmark it and they can always just come back here. They can copy the colors. They can also see the fonts that are being used. They can see the logos. And I'm pretty sure in the pro version, you can actually download the logos as well. Uh, you can also click the menu and up the top. And if you click it, it'll, it'll basically scroll down to that uh, section there. And there we have it. We have our published site. We can go back to our project section. If you click the, on the left-hand side, you can see you've got this little icon um, with like a stack of boxes there. You can click on the three dots. You can say view published project, unpublish it, delete it, archive it or whatever, or edit. So I can click the unpublish if I want. And then my client won't have access to that link anymore. It won't work. And then I can just go create another project and we can do another one. Let's say I want to do Opal Agency. And maybe this time I don't want to use Wizard. I want to use maybe a blank canvas. We can choose which theme, dark or light. I'm going to go with the dark theme. And now we've got a blank canvas, no bento grid or anything. But if you want to save time, then I recommend doing the wizard mode. But for this, it makes it really cool. I can just come here and I'm just going to drop this one in. And then I can start building from fresh, start adding modules and just customizing it any way you want, really. You know, drag and drop the modules in there, color palette, text. You can add social media as well. That gives you a nice little mock. And they're going to be upgrading it and updating it. And then we've got an intro as well. Let me see. Yeah, you got this one. There we have it. So you've got a few decent options to customize it. Um, just by spending a bit of time, you can play around and you've got a lot of different modules to play with. But here's just an another quick example of how you can use it. If you do want to try it out, I do have my affiliate link in the description below. Give it a go, give it a try. And if you're someone that wants to create brand guidelines in one of the most fastest ways, I think this is a really good tool. And the creators are actually designers themselves. They used to freelance for over 15 years. So they've been in the game a long time, but they um, wanted to help designers and create a good tool that's just easy to use. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy it. Click the link in the description below. Hope you create some awesome brand guidelines. If you want to see another video where I create a brand from scratch, you can actually check that video right here.